if I told you that we were going to play a game about storming a castle and defeating enemies and battling dragons and wizards? You would think that this might be a worker placement game or maybe some good old fashioned dice chucking. No, today we're going to be slapping. Not like that, not slapping each other, slapping cards. So let's look at Card Castle. In the game of Card Castle, you will take this big deck first of all, and you're going to split it evenly between all the players. And if there's any excess cards, those will just be out of the game. So you give this deck a really good shuffle and split it between all of the players. So I have gone ahead and set up a three-player game here. Now note it is easier to hold the decks in your hands and flip over cards that way because you'll be going through these decks quite fast. But unfortunately, I don't have enough hands to be able to do that by myself as I record this. So I'm just going to have them on the table. So once you have everything set up, the first player will be the player to the left of the dealer and they will go ahead and they will take the first turn. Well, the first turn, there isn't much for them to do. The first thing they're going to do is they're going to flip over their card, and boom, that's the end of their turn. But that's setting up uh, what happens for the next round, or the next player, excuse me. So, the first player has an archer, which has a value of 2. So, the next player must flip over cards to meet or exceed that value. So, they're going to flip over a card, and whenever you flip over a card, you flip away from you so that you don't get a sneak peek at the card before anybody else does. It kind of gives you a disadvantage as you're the one who is flipping those cards. So this player will flip a card away from them, and they flip over a knight. So the knight has a value of 3, and 3 exceeds 2. So now it goes on to the next player's turn because they already defeated that previous card. So now this player must defeat that knight of three. So they're going to flip over a card and they have an archer of two. Well, two doesn't beat three, so they must continue their turn. So they're going to flip over another card and they have a swordswoman. And the swordswoman has a value of one. So two and one that they play in their turn beats that three finally. So their turn is done goes back to the start player and they will continue on. Now, if ever a player flips over a card and it matches the card below it, so Swordswoman matches a Swordswoman, the very first person to go ahead and slap that deck down, they will go ahead and take those cards and those will go into a reinforcement deck. The reinforcement deck is used once your main deck has been depleted, you shuffle that up and that becomes your new deck. Now there are a couple other cards that could come out, and there are other some slap situations that you will need to know about. Let's just say that that player did not have the Swordswoman card, but instead they flipped over a Shield card. Well, the Shield card negates anything that has been previously played, so that ends their turn, but they must flip over the next card in their deck to end their turn. If the next player flips over a card and it is a door card, door cards will end that turn and you have to slap a door card and you will take that deck into your recruitment pile. There are also evil dragons. If a dragon is flipped over, they burn up all of those cards. All of those cards go away and the dragon hangs out on the side in the dragon's lair area. And lastly, there are wizards! So if a wizard card is flipped over, the first person to slap the wizard, which is never a good idea, do not slap wizards, but if you're able to slap the wizard, what you can do is you can go ahead and take a card from one of your opponents or you can go ahead and take the dragon and place that into your reinforcement area. And also with the doors and the wizards you take all the, you take all the cards that were below it as well. 
you will play until all the other players have no playable cards. So you're basically eliminating everybody else's deck. If you're the only one with playable cards in your area, you have won Card Castle. So that is Card Castle. This game is extremely fast. Um, I imagine it might slow down a little bit if you have more players, but personally I recommend the sweet spot for this game would be about three to four players. You can play it with two players, and I really wouldn't play it anything beyond four players. Uh, but this is something that is really cool. I really like games that pull in old mechanisms of stuff that you don't really think of, of people re-implementing. So, uh, slapjack with the dexterity of slapping the cards when they come down and this has a little bit of war mixed into it and I grew up playing both of those games I remember fondly playing with my grandfather but I really enjoy how they they mash those up and put them into this one game and put on a really cool fantasy theme because who doesn't like wizards and dragons I know I'm a sucker for anything in that type of genre so if this looks like something that you would enjoy, go ahead and click down below. There will be a link to their Kickstarter, which is active right now as of the time of this video. And as always, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and help support Cloak and Meeple. On the next screen, or the final screen, you will see a link to Cloak and Meeple. You can go ahead and subscribe there. Or if you click down below, you can click subscribe and smash that bell that's right next to it so you get notified whenever a new video goes up. Also, there will be a link to my Patreon campaign where you can help support Cloak and Meeple so I can get better equipment and all kinds of fun new stuff to show off to all of you. And as always, Thank you, and I will see you next time.